Thank you guys for coming. I'm John Ouellette. I'm Mitch Mario. I'm Jared Scully. We all share the same passion of ski racing. We've been on a ski racing program, me and Mitch, since we were freshmen, and Jared started his junior year. But we've noticed lately that the less kids are coming out for the boys' ski team every year. And we wanted a way to change it. We've noticed many people say that they don't know how to ski well, or they don't feel confident enough to, be, to perform on the varsity ski racing level. We wanted to change that, and our um, big question is how can we change that? Yeah, um, we took the opportunity that um, Beanard Elementary had a fourth grade ski trip planned at their school. So we came up with the idea, if we not go and we could go and help the class out. Every year they go to Apple Mountain, they ski with the ski instructors, and we wanted to help out. Get a good impression of the varsity ski program and let them know that we want them to join, let them know that they can join, and that we're here to help. Yep, um, basically we're there to basically educate kids on the life skill of ski. Basically, it's not just a sport, you can do it in your entire life. And to do that, we contacted Mrs. Schlick uh, to figure out the details, where it was, uh, when we were supposed to be there, and there were actually a few date changes due to school closing. And she emailed us whenever, anything was, whenever we needed to know anything, and that was very helpful. As we said earlier, this was at Apple Mountain, which is in Saginaw, Michigan. Bill has a 12 four-person chairlift and two tow ropes. Um, the yellow is the chairlift, the red in the middle right in front of the ski lodge. The green is a starter rope, tow rope, it's really short, on a flat hill almost. The red is like an intermediate tow rope, it takes you up to the top. Pretty steep hill, and it's a good place to uh, start off steep. And throughout the day, we started over here, which was the flat bunny hill, and then we gradually moved over to this side, which was a slightly steeper bunny hill, and we set up a course to make sure that they made controlled turns. Now once they made it through that turn, that course, we moved over to the more intermediate hill, steeper hill, to make sure they can make uh, controlled turns, controlled safe turns on a steeper terrain. And stop. And stop, yes. <laughs> stop was the biggest thing. So we obviously had a plan to get all this through. There's a lot of things that go into a senior project, and especially when you're helping kids. So at 8 a.m., we showed up at the end and we went into each individual classroom so we could meet the kids, meet the teachers that were going on the trip, and introduce ourselves. Road trip, basically loaded up in the car, the kids got on the bus, the kids got all their equipment on the bus, all their snow pants, coats, gloves, everything they needed on the bus. We got in our cars and we drove that from about 45 minutes away. At 10 a.m., we stopped for gas and stands. And we arrived at 10 o'clock, which was the same time the bus arrived, which was perfect timing. And upon arrival, we got the kids their gear. We sized them up for all helmets, make sure they were all fitting properly so that helmets didn't fall off, every kid was safe. And we helped them get on their jackets and their ski boots so that they were ready for the day, ready to go work. Um, starting at 11 o'clock, we had um, basic skills on top of the bunny hill. It's basically how to put your skis on, how to take them off, what makes your skis turn, what makes it stop, basically everything you need to do to stay safe. Yeah, we, we taught them like catchy slogans that they would know, like uh, tip before you hit, like fall down before you collide with somebody, so that there's less accidents, because if you fall into the soft snow, it's better than just taking somebody out on the ski hill. Always a better option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after those lessons, uh, tw uh, it was around 12 o'clock, we started taking kids over on the course that thought that we thought could handle it. It basically wasn't, we were, we were pressuring kids into having to go on the big hills. We were just working on them, making sure they were comfortable being on their skis. And then at 2 o'clock, we packed up and headed home. I wish we could have stayed out there longer, because I'll be honest, it was a great time. I liked working with all the kids, but we had to get them home before the end of the school day to get them back to their family. This is what actually happened, after all that planning. Uh, when we got there, we were separated into all individual groups, so each person had their own, I would say like, 10 kid group, 10 plus kid group with uh, their ski patrol. And we went through basics in smaller groups so that each kid would have, you know, all of time to make sure they grasp the concept of balance, uh, snow plow to slow down, french fry, ski up, blow the ski up. Um, 
lessons with the ski patrol, basically is what Sean just summed up. The ski patrols were very knowledgeable, knew what they were talking about, actually taught us a lot about actually teaching the kids. Yeah. Here's some pictures of us with the ski patrol. Uh, I was helping that kid out, I think his name was Kevin, yeah. and uh, he was struggling with balance, so I was telling him he needed to separate his weight more and make sure his skis are more spread apart so he doesn't tip over so easily. Um, I was putting, or showing kids how to put on their skis, which I was actually having a struggle with that day, kind of funny, <laughs> and they were laughing at me, having a good time, and basically just the fundamentals of how a ski goes on and comes off. Kids, that every kid had a ticket, a lift ticket on their coat. Um, they had to make it through the course twice without falling, and they had to be able to stop at the bottom within a certain period of time. If they could make it through two times in a row without falling or hurting anybody or being able or being in control, you put an X on the ticket. An X on your ticket was basically able to go on the chairlift by yourself. And then after, you know, some kids got accident and some kids didn't. There were some kids that couldn't, they were, they were riding the struggle bus. <laughs> picking up the basics of skiing and that's expected when you're first learning how to ski. It's a tough thing to do to get your balance and go fast and know how to stop. And a lot of things to remember, like, want to slow down, you can't just, you can't hockey stop right out the shoes. You gotta know how to pizza without crossing your skis and falling down. Stay with your friend. Yeah, always stay, always have a buddy. Yeah. After that, we actually got to, we wanted to do more than just help the kids. We wanted to ensure that kids kept going on this trip. So we made a video, thank God for the video, as Eva said, that helped me so much. But uh, we actually made a wee video to, you know, get more kids going on the trip in the future for Game of Thrones. Ready? Yeah. You want to learn to ski? Then come to your ski trip at Apple Mountain. Apple Mountain is a ski resort in Shadowtown, Michigan. It has two tow ropes for the bunny hump and a chair lift. If you're a good enough skier by the end of the day. Here's an informational video about Apple Mountain. The capabilities, and with an annual snowfall average of 52 inches, snow conditions are usually the best you'll find in the area. The state-of-the-art grooming equipment and quad chair lift with four toes make this a favorite ski and snowboard destination.
Some you're up for a good time. So come on to the Easter this year. Questions or comments? I'd like to have at least uh, three or four specific questions for this team. Yeah, uh, what was the worst experience you had with uh, one of the kids? Um, well, it, it was probably, it wasn't a bad experience, but it was very challenging. It was kind of the guy here who woke up in the morning. It was just broadening our eyes on what we needed to do to help somebody. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was having a real struggle balancing, so for the majority of the day, we actually had to like carry him around the hill, which is extremely tiring, and I had to break the news to him that he couldn't, that he wasn't quite ready, he was almost there, he wasn't quite ready to go on the chairlift, and he wasn't too fond of that. That's the one <laughs> He had some choice. That was his goal for the day, was going on the chair, chairlift. Yeah, this is the point where I had to literally carry him up the total. Mm -hmm. I had him in my arm and I was carrying him total, but that's not fun. Yeah. Um, so, I have a comment and then a question that's going to follow. So. Uh, in, in education, if you're a teacher, you've certainly been a student before, otherwise you can't be a teacher. If you are a ski instructor, you've certainly been a student before. You've been in these kids' position before as well, too. So um, there's a saying that what, uh, what life is like on the other side of the desk, so yeah, to speak. Right. What life is like on the other spot. You know? So I know, um, tell us a little bit about that perspective. How did it open your eyes, Jared? It made us a lot more appreciative for our coach, ski coach, for stuff he has to deal with. Mm -hmm. Kids, like, getting techniques down and dealing with kids not paying attention. And it's pretty stressful, actually. Yeah, I mean, and I, I want you guys to answer this because, I mean, Mrs. Johnson and I kind of are, you know, the thing that you said, how there are some kids who want to get on the slopes right away, that's how it feels like doing senior project. There's some kids who just want to get ready after the project. 
There's some kids who are kind of wait for your instruction you talked about, right? And then there's some kids who have to do what? Drag them along? <laughs> Quite literally, you know? So I think it was interesting that you brought that up because it's, it's, okay. it's all part of the process, you know? So one of the hardest it's interesting. Parts was getting kids that were falling behind caught back up. Yes, it kids is. That, kids that are excelling in what we're doing, mm -hmm. and there's the kids that aren't catching on. Mm -hmm. It's trying to let the kids that are excelling go continue on what they're doing and find the kids that were struggling. Mm -hmm. um, have you shared the video with uh, people at Ganyard and what was the response for showing that next year? I was actually going to email them that tonight because I've been keeping in touch with their principal. She said it would be a great idea and I was just going to, you know, probably um, bring it onto a disc and bring it into her personally and show her it with me there and see if she has any questions and comments about it. Thanks, guys. Nice job. <laughs>